Hi, it's Roy Fugler here at the Baxter Training Centre in Warrington and today we're going to run through a quick tip on how to wire boilers up nice and neatly. Right, before we start, I'll just get you my wiring kit. So this is the kit I normally use when I'm wiring boilers up. You can see it's just a standard kit, screwdrivers, pliers, wire cutters and crimp connectors. I also use these type of fittings the boot lace type ferrules and this also this other crimper. So what we're going to do today, I'm just going to show you how to wire up a Baxi 600. On the back of the circuit board cover, there is a wiring guide for cutting and trimming the wires off. So that's what we're going to be referring to. Ordinarily, I'd be wearing safety gloves, but in this instance, because wiring can be a little bit fiddly, I'm keeping the gloves off. So the first thing we're going to do is get some three core 0.75mm cable, not forgetting the glasses, mainly for safety, but also because I can't see what I'm doing. So once we put that into the wiring guide, we can see the length that we need to cut it, and then we can mark that off, so it's going to be perfect every time. Once we've got that out, we can use these self-cutting strippers. In the past, probably like yourselves, I've used Stanley knives, not very safe. I've used all sorts of blades. The problem with those is you end up nicking the wires and then starting again. So once we've got the mark on there, we just take the little guide down, align the mark onto the little cutting surface and then just nick the clint and that will strip all three wires nice and neatly. Then we just take the wire cutters and we can cut each wire to the appropriate length as down on the guide. Once we've got those, we need to then clear them off. So we set the length that we want the wires to be trimmed with the little red setter. And then again, pop them in there, nick down and it strips the wire. One of the most important things is making sure you get rid of the little bit of insulation that's left because if you don't, it'll, it'll stick. So again, on that one, just like so. And then the last one, which is the earth. The next thing is to choose the right type of ferrule. These are 0.75mm, so we've got a couple of choices. So in a smaller little kit that I have, I've got the bootlace type ferrules or just the cord end ferrules. In this case, I'm going to use the cord end ferrules. So I choose the appropriate one, which again is 0.75mm. Just wrap the wire around. Slide it over the end, use the crimper to squeeze down and make the joint. So that joint is nice and neat. Once you've done that, you're ready to attach that into the boiler terminal block. 